Hi guys, so today's aim or topic will be discounts and sale price, which relates to standard 6RP3C. Last night you were given the foldable for the discount and sale. Inside the first flag for discounts, you will see this picture on the left hand side. We're going to fill in the missing pieces at home. So the definition, what is a discount? The discount is the amount saved from the original price. Some key terms to look out for are the percent money off, clearance, a coupon, and how much money do you save? This question right here, the discount answers that question. How much money did you save? So in your own words, you could put your definition here. And looking at this example, if something was originally $10, and now it is $8, the discount is $2 because $2 is what we saved. 10 minus 8 is 2. We saved $2. Now we could look at steps to finding the discount. The first thing that we want to do is convert the percent into a decimal. Once we have that percent into that decimal, that part, then we can multiply the part which is what we got in step one, which is the part. We're going to multiply that by the whole, which is the original price. Moving on to sale price. If you open the flab on sale price, you're going to see this picture. Now we could fill in the missing words. The definition. The new price after the discount has been taken off. Some key terms to look out for are what is the new price, the sale price, and what is the price after the discount. For example, regular or original price was $12.99. Now it is only $5.99. So the sale price would be $5.99. It is the price after we took off the discount from $12.99. And again, in this box, you could put in your own words. Steps to finding the sale price. If you understood how to get the discount, it is going to be easy because we're just adding that one more step for the sale price. So step one, after you find the discount, you're going to subtract. You're going to take the original price, subtract the discount, which we just solved for in the previous slide, to get the sale price or the new price after the discount has been taken off. Let's look at an example. And again, I encourage you to stop the video, pause it, write out the question, and really understand what we're about to do. Okay, so let's look. If the cost of a shirt is originally $20, so it is originally $20, what is the sale price? What is the sale price of the shirt if it is 10% off the originally priced item. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is find out how much money are we saving? What is the discount? Like we said, step one is to take this percent, 10%, and change it into a decimal. You should remember 10% to make that a decimal. We drop that percent sign rewrite it as 10 and move it over the decimal spot over two places to the left because we are technically dividing by 100. Remember, two spots to the left. So our decimal, our 10% as a decimal would be 0 0.10. After we converted the percent into a decimal, we are going to multiply it by the original price. So step two, multiplying it by the original price. 20 times the part, and we are going to get zero times zero, zero, zero times two, zero. Add that zero as a place value. One times zero, zero. One times two, is 2. Add them up. 0 and 0. 
zero plus zero and two. Remember, we have two spots for your decimal point, so we have to move it two spots over. Our discount is two dollars. This means with that 10% off, we are saving $2. To figure out the sale price, the sale price, which we are spending after the discount, we have to take that original price of the shirt, which is $20, then subtract the amount that we saved or the discount to get our final cost. So when we subtract $20 and two, zero minus zero is zero, zero minus zero is zero, zero minus two we cannot do. So we're going to borrow 10 minus two is eight, one minus zero is one, don't forget your dollar sign. So our final answer is $18. What does that mean? That means with a shirt that costs $20, if you take 10% off, the new price is going to be $18. You know the deal by now. I hope for this next example for you guys to pause the video and really take the time to figure out this problem by yourself. Let's read the problem together and then you may pause it. All video games are on sale for 25% off. If the cost of the game is originally $60, what is the sale price? Remember to pause the video and then when you figured out the answer, you could check it by hitting play and the steps will occur. Okay, remember step one, get the discount. How much money are you saving? The first thing that we wanna do is take this 25% and get it into decimal form. So 25% point two five. And we want to multiply it by the original cost, which was 60. When we multiply 60 by 25 hundredths, we are going to get $15, of course. This 15 right here represents the money that we are saving with this 25% off. So if you're saving twenty-five, uh, $15, sorry, if you're saving $15 with this 25% off, in order to figure out the sale price, we need to subtract. We have to subtract the original price, which was $60. Remember the decimal point, zero, zero. And we're subtracting it from the discount, which we said is how much money we saved. So 60 minus 15 when we subtract going to get zero is there. Zero minus five we cannot do. So we have to borrow. Ten minus five is five. Five minus one is four. Again, don't forget our dollar sign. And our final answer for what is the sale price? The sale price is $45. Okay. So for tomorrow in class, you should have the foldable filled in with this problem that we just solved together just to make sure that I know that you are writing out the steps. Okay, see you tomorrow.